This is coffee. I really shouldn't be drinking coffee to make my voice feel better. I should be drinking whiskey. Hello and welcome to FDS MTG News for March 2nd, 2022. Plenty of MTG enthusiasts beg the query. What was that teaser trailer the professor dropped the other day? Well, on Friday, he demystified us with another trailer that was an extension of the first. It's a deck box. I, for one, am shocked. What was surprising was that it is in conjunction with the game accessory company Gamegenic. Prof and Gamegenic have spent the last year designing the box together and will be launching the Kickstarter for it on March 15th, 2022. The professor did a small peek of his box via his video on Monday by sneaking it into his video The Truth About Streets of New Capenna. Other than knowing it has the Tolarian Community College's logo and it's dark blue with a purple lining, the only other thing we know about it at this point is that it's called the Academic. It's also probably a good bet it'll have those magnet nubs. I absolutely will be backing this Kickstarter so I can get one, and you can be sure we are going to review it here on the channel. You also can be sure that I'm going to reuse that MTG enthusiast beg the query joke in that video as well. In unrelated news, but it's still about deck boxes, Ultimate Guard is launching new colors in its Return to Earth line of boulders. The Return to Earth line touts that it is made from 97% recycled materials and is recyclable. Now they are adding blue and a black variation, which in my opinion look a lot nicer. I will be picking these up and reviewing them here on the channel. Keep it coming, accessory companies, because I need the content. On February 24th, Wizards of the Coast posted an article on their website that announced the release dates of both Streets of New Capenna and the upcoming Commander Legends 2 Battle for Baldur's Gate. Streets of New Capenna will be coming out on April 29th, and Commander Legends 2 will be releasing on June 10th. The bigger news is that Streets of New Capenna digital and physical release dates have been aligned. This means that the pre-release for Streets of New Capenna will only be in local game stores. The article states, We're exploring different release cadences, and so for this set only, we'll be aligning our digital release with the tabletop release. This means your first chance to experience Streets of New Capenna will be with your local game store for pre-releases starting April 22nd, followed by the digital release on Magic the Gathering Arena and Magic the Gathering Online April 28th. Many are praising this move as a boon for local game stores, as this should bolster attendance at the pre-release. For the past several years, sets would become available to play on MTG Arena and online the day before the start of the pre-release. Critics note that this undermines not only the attendance of pre-releases, but also the spirit of pre-releases. These events are supposed to be a place for players, new, old grinders and collectors to come together and experience a brand new set together. The fact that players were actually playing with the cards for the first time leveled the playing field a bit, so newer and less experienced players, or crappy ones like me, could have a chance of doing well and winning some prizes. That being said, note that they stated for this set only in that quote I read just a bit ago. Yeah, it very well could be back to digital first when Dominaria United comes around. This obviously is a test to see if giving LGS's first crack does in fact bolster sales in stores, as well as to see how it affects online spending. Not everyone loved the decision though. Many were upset by the effect this would have on content creators because they would not be able to stream the set before the pre-release, which often brought in a lot of ad revenue. Hopefully, a happy medium can be found, but right now we're still in the testing phase of this particular little nuance of the release schedule. In other news, Universes Beyond won't be standard legal. At least, for now. And the foreseeable future. Beyond that, who knows? On February 28th, a Tumblr user by the name of Honor Baskia asked on Mark Rosewater's blogatog in reference to the Lord of the Rings set, I think the previous question was specifically asking about Premier Magic sets that aren't Magic Wizards IPs. Can we expect to see Premier standard legal sets in the future from third-party IPs? Mark's response was a straightforward, there are no current plans to do that. Considering Mark and Studio X, where magic is designed within Wizards, work two to three years in advance, this means we will have at least three plus years of standard being magic IP only. And universes beyond cards, whether they come in secret layers like Street Fighter, commander decks like Warhammer 40k, or full sets like Lord of the Rings, will only be legal in eternal formats, legacy, vintage, commander, etc. Sticking with Mark Rosewater's blogatog on Tumblr, since I was there and I thought this was interesting, on February 26th, a user, Skagagagagod God of Darkness, asked, is it too much to ask for in-universe versions of the Lord of the Rings set? I know the art and concepting is a big resource drain, but it's something I think a lot of people would like to see. Just curious. Smiley face. Mark responded with, 
Doing a handful of cards from a secret layer is manageable. Doing an entire set is not. This really isn't too surprising if you think about it. Some may say they already designed the cards. They only have to come up with new art names. What's so hard about that? And the people who say that have no insight into how complicated, time-consuming, and difficult it is to do just that. The person posing this question even referred to it as a big resource drain. Just coming up with names, flavor text, and new art for a set of cards is very hard. It takes dozens of people and hundreds of hours. You can't just fit that in. So sadly for some, universes beyond sets that are full magic sets will not have magic IP versions of all the cards. Sure, they may find a way to reskin the Frodo card when we eventually make it back to Lorwyn, but most of the cards will probably remain in the beyond. But you know what? I don't mind that. Personally, I'm excited about Universes Beyond. I've wanted magic cards with Wolverine, Batman, Spider-Man, and the Hulk since I was 12. A Bart Simpson magic card? Yes, please. I realize a lot of people cringe at that idea, and I'm sorry that you feel that way. I guess I just want a Gandalf the Grey card and not a magic IP version of Vandalf the Silver. I'm glad we're just getting the actual characters on these cards and not characters that look exactly like them, but with similar names and different modifiers. See Volky, God of Lies. And yes, I realize copyright comes into play with Universes Beyond cards, so magic versions are basically out of the question for these properties. They could do it with Loki, because Loki was a Norse god before he was a Marvel comic character and then a dreamy MCU villain. But I do want to be clear here. I'm not knocking the creative team that put these sets together. As I stated earlier, putting a set together, creatively speaking, is a mammoth task, and I know they do the best they can, and I certainly couldn't do it. I guess I'm just a little tired of the magicified versions of characters, and I like the fact that we're getting the characters themselves. That's all for today. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and click on things. Hello, and welcome to FDS MTG... <laughs> MTG... <laughs> wow, I was starting off fast. Whew, okay. I had a small burp at the end of that. I'm gonna do it again, just to be safe. Well, on Friday, he dis... he dismystified us. No. Designing the box together. The only other thing we know about it at this point is that it's... Recycled materials and is recycle recyclable. Content. I need the content. I need the content. This means that the pre-release for Streets of New Capenna will be only. Many are praising this muse. This muse. Am I gonna get giggly about moves? Muse. So newer and less. Let's let's only in that quote I read content creators because now the dev asked on Moke Roswaters or four set four sets this show is part of the CIP network inspiring creativity one episode at a time <laughs>